Hello, one and all, and welcome to my video, where today we're going to be looking at opening free loose and broken bonds booster packs. Uh, I wasn't originally going to collect the set, but with the hype that's been built around Rainbow Rare, Reshiram and Charizard, and the recent release of the Detective Pikachu film, I couldn't help but give it a go, as I'm sure many of you may be the same. Uh, I know the likelihood of us pulling the Rainbow <laughs> Rare in this pack is next to impossible, but we're going to give it a shot in the dark, and who knows, we may get something something else. But, yeah, without any further ado, let's get this going. Oh, it's tight. Oh, well, nothing in this one. One, two, three, four. Right, so we have a water energy. Thero. The beak Pokemon. Carrying food through Thero's territory is dangerous. It will snatch the food away from you in a flash. Very wise. Graveler, the rock Pokemon. It climbs up cliffs as it heads towards the peak of a mountain. As soon as it reaches the summit, it rolls back down the way it came. Metal Core Barrier. Very interesting. Spritzy, the perfume Pokemon. It emits scenes that interpret those who smell it. Its favorite it is fragrance change depending on what it is eaten. Doduo, the twin bird Pokemon. A two-headed Pokemon that was discovered as a sudden mutation. It runs at a pace of over 60 miles per hour. I wonder what it mutated from then. Rhyhorn, the Spikes Pokemon. Strong, but not too bright. This Pokemon can shatter even a skyscraper with the charging tackles. Meltan! A little new Pokemon. Hexnut Pokemon. It melts particles of iron and other metals found in subsoil, so it can absorb them into its body of molten steel. Spearow, the tiny bird Pokemon. Its reckless nature leads to stand up. That leads it to stand up to others. Even large Pokemon, if it has to protect its territory. Oh, Rainbow Rare Domanitan. Not Rainbow Rare. Reverse Hollow Rare. Domanitan. The Blazing Pokemon. When one is injured in a fierce battle, it hardens its into a stone like form. Then it meditates and sharpens its mind. And the last one. Seeking the goldfish Pokemon. Its horn spins like a drill to steady hollow out rocks, even hard ones. The correlation of the male is more vivid. Guard of and Sylveon pack. Let's try another thing. Okay, this time, a, bit of, a little bit of hope. Right. One, two, three, four. We have Psychic Energy. Laron, the Iron Armor Pokemon. It loves iron ore. Groups of them fight for territory by bashing another, one another with their steel bodies. Martial Arts Dojo, Fairy Charm Ability, Krabby, the River Crab Pokemon. It senses danger approaching. It cloaks itself with bubbles from its mouth so it looks bigger. Tangler, the Vine Pokemon. Many withering vines cover it so, it so its true identity remains unknown. The blue vines grow its whole life long. Oddish. Oh, a little crochet artwork. The weed Pokemon. During the day, it stays in cold underground to avoid the sun. It grows by bathing in moonlight. Oh, very interesting. Whoopa, the water fish Pokemon. This Pokemon lives in the cold water. It will leave the water to search for food when it gets cold outside. Cottony. The cotton uh, puff Pokemon. To protect itself, it shoots cotton from its body. When it gets wet, 
in the rain, it's cotton grows moist and heavy and it can't move as well. Oh, sounds unfortunate. Ooh, first Holly Chatot, it's kind of a pretty artwork. The music note Pokemon. It mimics the cries of Pokemon to trick them into thinking it's one of them. This way, they won't attack it. And our last one. Regular rare Clefable. The fairy Pokemon. It can't help but hear a pin drop from over half a mile away. So it lives in the mountains where there aren't many people or Pokemon. Last shot. My shadow and my shadow. I'm used to hollow. One, two, three, four. We have water energy, a hunter, a cro cro a crococorok. I bitch at that. A uh, uh, really hates when its body gets cold. On nights where the temperature drops, it digs deep into the desert sand. Beastbringer. Meowth, the scratch cat Pokemon. When visiting a junkyard, you may catch sight of it having an intense fight with Murkrow over shiny objects. Geodude, the rock Pokemon. Geodudes that live in <clears throat> that lived a long life have had all their edges smoothed out until they're totally round. They also have a calm, quiet disposition. Horigon, the virtual Pokemon. This Pokemon was created using the cutting edge scientists of 20 years ago, so many parts of it science have become obsolete. Oh, it's gotta be sad. Froakie, the bubble frog Pokemon. It secretly reflects all bubbles uh, from its chest and back. The bubbles reduce the damage it would otherwise take when attacked. Aron, the iron armor Pokemon. It usually lives in mountains, however, the hungry drive it to eat railroad tracks and carts. Good. First hello, Krabby. Before we read that one. And our last one, the last shot we got. Regular rare Venomoth. Three regular rares. Ah, well. The Poison Moth Pokemon. The scales are scattered when paralyzed. Any, well. Scalers is scatters will, par will paralyze anyone who touches them, making that person unable to stand. All right, not the best luck, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And who knows, maybe we'll come back for more in the future. Once again, thanks for joining me, and all the best. See ya.